the real meaning of success. I mean, the real and true meaning of success is our topic today. Perhaps maybe the key to success. You know, what is it that can help you create the life that you want to get the life you want and how to be successful? I'm going to share a principle with the Course in Miracles today as well that, that may give you some good food for thought, but what's real success to you? You know, previ previously I discussed more on the helpful material available in, in some free ebooks and videos that are that are very good source of information to access on the net. Hey everyone, James Nussbaumer, and thank you for visiting another episode of Everyday Miracles Moment on video. And by the way, as you're listening to me, please keep in mind that in the description area down below of YouTube here, there's a link called Bring My Dreams to Reality. It's an access link to a free ebook with a video that I highly recommend for how to use the power of manifestation to create the life that you want. You know, real success is shown by wholeness and, and oneness. And what I mean, which is just experienced by positioning oneself with the requirements of your passion and your purpose in life. Yes, that is the key to success. Speaking of that as being the key to success, living a life of purpose and passion, I'd written more about that in a, in a detailed blog article at my blog, and the link to that detailed article is also in the description area down below. Now, you might have to click on show more to expand that area open here at YouTube, but the article is on personal fulfillment and how to tap into your inner power and release yourself from a scarcity mindset that's only holding you back in life. But keep in mind also as you're listening to me that the Course in Miracles states, you must learn to believe in your own perfection. Now I'm going to repeat that. And but before I do, let me say that I've also noted that in the description area as well too, this metaphysical principle that I hope you'll jot down and use it for whatever use you want later on. The Course in Miracles states in one of its spiritually metaphysical principles, you must learn to believe in your own perfection. How simple is that? You know, to see, to just see meaning of success as a presentation of a particular level or whatever, or of a product or a financial status acquired through aspiration is just to understand a little tiny part of your own inner power's capacity. There's a couple key points to explain further what I mean. Number one is success comes as the spin-off of a life lived from within yourself and projecting that inner awesomeness to the material world. Number two, another key point is the essential to living an effective life is in understanding the awareness that you suffer that you suffice, I'm saying. I mean, meaning that you you want to align your awareness, your inner awareness to what is your passion in life. You know, you produce the area within your awareness that permits you to straighten harmoniously, so to speak, for lack of a better word, with your higher self or the right mind, we can say, as soon as you accept that you are good enough and deserving to get the life that you want. A lot of times that's all it takes is just to tell yourself, hey, I deserve this. You know, it took some time and major truth telling. However, I quickly found out myself that I was pressing myself towards a vision of success based on cash, based on money, and not of wholeness and oneness with my creativity. When you are aligned with the with, if you are whole and at one with your creativity, that means you are whole and at one with your creator. Well, I had dedicated my complete attention then towards my passions and my enthusiasms, we can say. What really excites me? And then I enjoyed being aligned to the meaning of success, the real meaning of success. My inner powers bloom, we may say, is the outcome. The fact is you are better off knowing where you want to end up so you know how to map out the journey to get the life you want. You're going to want to consider, though, one final thing here. You're going to want to consider your way of life first, the way of life that you want to live first, and then design your personal life and your company or your business, whatever it is you're seeking success for. Build that around diving in and going deep within yourself to create the life you want from within and then reflecting it to your material world. That's how the power of manifestation operates. If this was some good food for thought for you today, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would love to have you as a subscriber. And as always, are you 
are you thinking a lot about your own life and how beautiful you are inside? If you're not, would you please do that for yourself and for the world? Because the world needs you to extend your creativity, your beauty within to the world to make the world a better place. And, and thus, you're also making your life situa situation the life situation that you deserve. I hope that made sense. Until next time, I've got to run. God bless.